Greetings, lovely lady. I don't feel so lovely. Pimples again? No. I gained three pounds. You're a growing girl. I wouldn't mind if I grew three inches taller. I'm still the shortest girl in my grade. You worry too much about your appearance. You'd worry too if you looked like me. You'd be amazed if you could see yourself through the eyes of a man. No man ever looks at me. I feel so ugly. Men look at you all the time. You're just too shy to notice. How do you know? Because I'm a man, and you're an intelligent, sensitive, exciting young woman. Qualities like these express themselves in a person's appearance. You've got me so wrong. I'm so boring. I'm so bored. You really sound bad tonight. Is it just the three pounds? Don't get me started. That's what I'm here for. Jackie dissed me again in front of the whole gym class. God, I hate her. What did she say this time? She called me the midget, and she's right. There are fourth graders taller than me. Everyone thinks I'm a little kid, and no one notices me. I would notice. You're just being kind. I shouldn't say just. No one else is kind to me. You should let me be the judge of your body. You mean take off my clothes? There's nothing to look at. I would love to look at you. All of you. What are you wearing? Are we going to play this game again? I enjoy playing this game, don't you? Shorts and t-shirts. Which shorts? Which t-shirt? My faded denim shorts. Describe them. Again? You know how much I enjoy hearing about your clothes. They are really short, and they ride low on my hips. They're faded and frayed on bottom, but really tight. I have to sneak to wear them. Mom wouldn't let me out of the apartment with them on. I hate her. Hello? Kamal, are you still there? Yes. And the t-shirt. Just a pink top with stripes across the chest. So that your belly button shows? Sometimes. I bet you've got a lovely belly. I'm dying to see it. Can we meet this weekend? I guess so. Where's a good place to meet? Um, I know. The park. And this park is where? Ridge Boulevard by the interstate. This Friday at 5. Better make it 4.30. Good. Where would you have on tonight? So I can recognize you. Okay. What will you be wearing? Don't worry. I'll find you. Okay. Great. After all this time, we finally get to meet. Yeah. Now unbutton your shorts and describe the panties you are wearing. Okay, but I have to stand up. They're too tight. That's okay. Anticipation is half the fun. Nothing sexy. Just plain old white cotton panties. Mom won't buy me anything sexy. I'll buy you some sexy panties. Thongs? You'll buy me thong panties? If you promise to model them for me. Maybe. Ashley, you promised me, remember? Yeah, you're right. I did. That's better. I'll get a motel room. Just for you to model in. Is that all right? You know, I'm only 14. You're just going to look at me. That's all, right? 
Ashley, don't you trust me by now? Of course I trust you. I would never hurt you. You've been hurt enough. I can't wait till Friday. Yes, we'll have fun. Now, take your shorts off. We need to practice your modeling. Summers. How you doing? Right. I was expecting you. Oh, it's an honor to be working with you, sir. You are a legend. Come. Huh. Pull over, sir. What have you got there? Oh, it's just a computer. Just a computer? At home, I've got... The meeting is set up for Friday night at 7.30 at the Ridge Boulevard Mall. Right, right. The uh, Westgate Town Center, right? At the coffee shop. Right, this town. 7.30, Westgate Town Center? Yeah. Friday. So, how will we know who he is? He'll be wearing a t-shirt with a Mackinac bridge on. Can we just walk up to him and arrest him? Yeah. Right, you've done this before. How many times? A few. I cannot wait. Of all the lowlifes on the planet, these child molesters are the scum of the scum. Must make you feel really good to lock these sick freaks up. None of this makes me feel good. Right. Of course. Look, I've been chatting with this guy for a few months, and he's very, very cautious. So I want to make this very precise and do it right. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, we'll get him. Okay. That was great meeting you, Stephen. Talk to you later, then? Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Hey, what are you doing for dinner tonight? I don't know. I'll call my wife. I'll have her uh, set up another place. Well, there's no need for that. No, no, no. I insist. We're going to be working together and all. Okay. Great. Uh, swing by, say, 6.30? Sure. I'll see you at 6.30, then.
You could knock. Who are you online with? A girl. How do you know? I know. I can tell. How? How can you tell? Her name is Heaven Sent. No boy would use a name like that. A pervert would. Here we go with the perverts again. Look, they're out there. Believe me. I've seen them. I've met them. I know them. Just because you're a cop, you think the whole world is like the crud you deal with. It's not. There are nice people. The whole world is not perverted. Yo, Mom! Dad's freaking out again. Ashley? What's the matter, honey? Ashley? Good. Are you ready? Not just yet. I hope you're hungry. My wife's a gourmet cook. Wow. That's your daughter? Yeah. She is beautiful. Thanks. Michelle and I are planning on having a family. No ESPN, huh? No. I was resting on the couch waiting for you. Waiting? Sorry, was I late? No. No, I don't keep very normal hours, so I rest whenever I can. Right. You're probably online all night with that thing, trying to find those sick freaks, huh? Pretty much. You take that everywhere with you? This goes wherever I go. <laughs> yeah? Because we get wet in the shower? Michelle? We're home. She must be in the kitchen. Michelle? I'm in here. I'm in here. Oh, hey, honey. Hi. Hey, this is Steven. Hello. Hi. David told me what you do, and I think it's incredible. Thanks. It's, uh, it's necessary. Can I take your laptop? Uh, oh, it's okay. It's okay, honey. He sleeps with the thing. No, he does. Uh, he takes it everywhere. Speaking of which, you want to see what I've got? No, David, not now. It's time to eat. Listen, whatever you do, don't get him started on computer stuff. He will bore you to tears with geek talk. Okay. Honey, it's not that bad. By the way, hey, what's for dinner? Well, you didn't give me much warning. Stephen, would you care for another slice? No, no, thank you. I'm not through with this one. No, I was noticing your dining room furniture. It's really, really lovely. Oh, thank you. It's really old. It was grandmother's, and it was passed down to her. My dad restored it. He did a great job. Thanks. Yeah, he really did. We don't spend much time here, though. Yeah, we usually eat in the kitchen. The kitchen would have been fine. No, no, we don't get to entertain much. Not much chance to bring out the good stuff. <laughs> Even if it is just pizza. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Steven's used to fast food. You know, he has a lovely young daughter himself. Oh, David never told me you had a daughter. That's wonderful. You divorced? Oh. I noticed that you weren't wearing a wedding ring. Right. Do you get to see your daughter much? No, I don't. Why not? Because she's dead. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's terrible. Um, it was four years ago. She was... 14, when she died. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't I go show you what uh, Michelle's been warning you about? Okay. I tell you, when I fire this thing up, half the lights in the city go dim. I even have wireless access throughout the house. Including a wireless webcam. I have some fun with that. Huh. Pull up a chair. Sit down. I pulled the video of our last vacation down in Cabo. You ever been down there? No. Oh, it's great. The snorkeling down there is unbelievable. I tell you, I was swimming so close to the barracuda and sharks, 
I probably could have reached out and brushed her teeth if I wanted to. Hmm. Oh, here she is. David! I don't have my top on! Great! No, it's not great! Come on, it's what I've been waiting for. <sighs> David, will you put that thing away? Come on, honey. Oh, God. You know, she's great, but she always complains when I'm taking her picture. But yet she turns around, she's the first person to ask me to see her. Go figure. Women. The Cabo movie? No. Yeah. David. Oh, Missy, nothing showed. You were on your stomach. However, I gotta tell you, most of the women down there, they weren't so modest. Everywhere I looked, some of the most beautiful tits I've ever seen, including hers. <laughs> i tell you, it wasn't until the last day of vacation before I get her to take her top off. She's so shy. You know, you're not showing that one. <laughs> no, 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 no. That one's in our private collection, isn't it? Pervert. Who is? My dad is such a perv. A cop? And he's perverted? No, he's not a perv. He just thinks the rest of the world is. Ah, he's too old, that's why. You can see things he can't. Yeah. I mean, if you believe there's nothing but hate and perversion in the world, then what's the point? You are wise beyond your years. By the way, what are your years? Don't laugh. I would never laugh at you. Fourteen. A child prodigy. Hardly. I'm barely passing. True geniuses never do well in school. Too structured for their turbulent minds. You're the first person to ever call me intelligent. You are fascinating. I'd love to talk with you sometime. We are talking. No, we're not. We're sending messages to each other. I mean, really talk, face to face. I can't do that. Dad would freak out if he knew I was doing this. He doesn't have to know. You're 14. Almost an adult. It's time you started living your own life instead of worrying so much about your daddy. He still sees you as a baby. He doesn't realize you can think for yourself now. You know he doesn't even knock when he comes in my room? I'm 14. He should knock. Absolutely. So? So what? Let's meet and talk. Just talk? Nothing else? Just talk. Promise? Promise. Let me think about it, okay? I like the idea of you thinking about me. I think about you a lot. And I you, Ashley. I you. Want I catch your sleep? No, I'm just resting. Give me a second. You weren't kidding everywhere you go, huh? You know, one of these days, I'm going to have to swipe that computer for you and see what's on it. Then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> That's not funny. None of this is funny. You know, I just don't get it. What's that? He's going to be looking for a young girl. No, he's going to be looking for anything out of the ordinary. Remember that. Hey, by the way, what, what does 18 stand for? I don't know. I asked him that one time, he just laughed at me. Laugh? Yeah. How do you... How do you laugh on a computer? You haven't spent much time in chat rooms, have you? <laughs> no, not at all. You've seen what I got. I just like to edit my movies and photos and stuff. I mean, yeah, sure, I surf some, but definitely not the chat rooms. Does anybody work here? I don't know. By the way, I'm still curious, how do you laugh on a computer? Emoticons or initials, or you just, you know, type out laughter. Pretty simple. <laughs> that sounds boring. I mean, not what you do, of course, but oh. what do other people do? Typing messages back and forth like that? Well, most of the things that obsessive people do seem boring to anybody who's not obsessed with the same things. That's a good point. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, I had this, I had this little friend. 
who was absolutely in love with this rock singer from the 80s. Annie Lennox, ever heard of her? Yeah. Oh, he collected everything that she had. I mean, he had every recording she ever did, every magazine she was ever in. Mm -hmm. He even had every video that she was in. God, tall, beautiful, blonde. She was, she had such an extreme presence. Did she? <laughs> so you overheard yet or what? Yeah. It's good. Hi. Can I take your order? Yes, you can. Can I have a hamburger with no mayonnaise, no ketchup, and no cheese? And will you put mustard, lettuce, pickles, tomatoes, and onions on that? Sure. Would you like fries? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's 8.15 already. I know that. That's a job. Get used to it. Computers. The internet. It's all kind of a mixed blessing, don't you think? What do you mean? I mean computers. They're a great tool. And and they've probably changed the world more than anything since it's only with printing press, but the internet. It's just like an open window. Just lousy, sick freaks to walk right into our homes. Now those sick freaks, as you like to call them, have always been here. Yeah, but the internet just allows... The internet has nothing to do with it. Come on, Stephen. How can you seriously say that? What? You really want to know who's to blame? Who? The parents. The mothers and the fathers. Because they're too busy with their own selfish lives to spend enough time with their own flesh and blood. That's why. Yeah, and the internet just allowed... The internet has nothing to do with it. There's always been child molesters. There's always been somebody trying to trick some kid into a car with a sack of candy. Children need love and attention. And if they don't get that love and attention at home, they do everything they possibly can to get it someplace else. I agree, but today, I think it's so much worse today. Oh, forget about the damn internet. Look around, it's just the latest in the long, long, long line of scapegoats. When the super dads and the super moms stop trying to worry about how to balance children and career. And they just start spending a little bit more time with their families. They'll shut the pedophiles down cold. Now put me out of a job. It's, it's 30 I, I think we had stood up. Do you want it? Do you want to call it a night? Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. What happened? Something came up. And I thought you were different. I'm sorry. Did you dress like you said you would? Yes, and it wasn't easy. Why is that? I told you, my parents won't let me walk out of our apartment dressed like that. I had to sneak the clothes out and change by the pool. You undressed outside? By the pool? It's not filled yet. But someone might have been watching. I'm not much to look at. I disagree. I'm dying to watch you undress. So why didn't you show? Unforeseen problems. Can we try again? I don't know. It's not easy for me. We'll try again. Same time tomorrow? For real? You're not just playing games with me? For real, my lady? Do you know what I have my hands right now? My thong panties? Yes. Ooh, describe them to me. The pair I'm holding is black. The smallest size I could find. I'm sure they will fit you. The strap and back will fit snugly in the tight little crack of your sweet little butt. Can I keep them? Yes, if you promise to model them for me. Okay. 
What are you wearing now? That pink t-shirt with the stripes. The one that rides way up above your belly button? Yes. What else are you wearing? My denim shorts that are frayed at the bottom. Oh, I love those. <laughs> Are you? Yes. Ah, you wore the pink shirt with the stripes, just like you said you would. You're old. Well, age is relative. There are 20-year-olds who are physical wrecks. There are 60-year-olds who can jog five miles a day. So how old are you? I'm between 20 and 60. <laughs> what are you listening to? The Flaming Lips. Hey, cool group. I like them, too. You listen to them? Sure. This is the first time I've ever been here. To the park? No, to the city. Came a long way to meet you. Really? How far? Michigan. That is a long way, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it was worth it to get to meet you. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. Good. Let's go to that mall you're always talking about. I don't know. It'll give us plenty of time to talk. We'll have all afternoon to talk. How have things been going with your dad? Oh, he's impossible. Now he's threatening to take my computer away. That would be terrible. Would you like me to take you someplace else? To a real restaurant? I'm not supposed to leave them all. Well, I thought that was the whole point. To do something you're not supposed to do. You have your own car? Of course. For real? It's parked right over there. Let me guess. You're resting again. Did we guess last night? Guess it's none of my business. You guessed right. Hey, were you in line with Maul? No, someone else earlier. Oh yeah? Another child molester? The props. The clothes. I mean, I'm supposed to be a teenage girl. They help me to concentrate. These are the kind of clothes that I'm supposed to be wearing. No, don't touch them! I'm sorry. They're, uh... They're very personal to me, and I don't like other people touching them. I need them. You see, I... They help me make everything as... as real as, as I can. Okay? Yeah, sure. Okay. Look, it's getting late. I think we better get going. You think he's gonna show this time? Yes. I sure hope so. I don't know, Steven. It's 8.15. I haven't spent this much time in a mall since I was a teenager. What do you think? Another 15 minutes. I'm gonna hit the head, all right? All right. Do you want anything? No. <laughs> what the hell happened? You've been shot.
I'm gonna hit with a goddamn paintball. I guess that means we've been spotted. So I don't think we'll be hearing from him again. We'll hear from him. He'll want to gloat. Yeah, he probably will. God, he was just too sharp. Yeah, well, most of these people aren't. Most of them are pretty stupid. They think they're just dealing with a bunch of innocent kids. What they don't realize is that there are people who are after them, who won't stop until they get them, no matter what it takes. So what do we do now? Well, I'm gonna go to bed. I fill out a report in the morning. In the meantime, you need to work on your surveillance skills. Are you trying to say it was my fault we were ID'd? No. That's what you're going to put in your report, isn't it? That I blew our cover. No, David, I'm not going to put that in my report. You know, maybe you tried to bring him in too soon. Maybe I did. can't stay long. I, uh, need to get back to the mall. We'll keep the curtains open. How's that? Does that make you feel better? I just hate for today to end. So do I. Thank you for taking me to the game room. That was big fun. I enjoy watching you enjoy yourself. You know, that really sucks. Your ex-wife won't let you see your own daughter. My ex-wife is a terrible person. Can I take a picture of you? To remember you by. To remember this day? No. I look really shitty in pictures. Please. Okay. But I have to clean up first. I need to use the bathroom anyway. Steven? Yes, Michelle? You have to come to our house. Why? I just got a phone call from someone named Hamal. <sighs> Where's David? Hamal has him. He says you have to come over here. All right, I'm on my way. Wait, don't call for any backup. He's threatened to kill David if we do. All right, Michelle, I won't. It's things I need. What's happening? Who's this guy, Hamal? Is he the guy you were supposed to arrest tonight? Yes. He said if I want to see my husband again, I need to do exactly as he says. 
Which was what? You go online and go to this website, and then to call you and tell you to come over here and not to call the police. All right, which website? See for yourself. Who is Lady Ashley? Me. Let's hope this access he was bragging about really works. You know, he knew our phone number. He knew my name. He called me Michelle. Yes, okay, it works. Is this all there is to this website, this, this sign? I don't know. I don't spend as much time on the internet as David does. What happened tonight? Mall I did us. We were back at my place at nine. And David left angry. What does David do when he gets angry? He, he goes to bars and drinks most of the time. Amal must have followed us from the mall to my place and then followed David to the bar and then waited for him to have a few drinks. Maybe more than a few. And then kidnapped him. What was David mad about? He thought I blamed him. For what? For not making the arrest. Do you blame him? No, no. I need to concentrate. Do you have David? I asked to speak with Lady Ashley. It's me. If I don't get to speak with Lady Ashley, David is in serious trouble. What's he talking about? You said you were Lady Ashley. I am. Okay, but I need a few minutes. That's all right. Anticipation is half the fun. What's the matter? What do you need more time for? To get into character. Who's that? Ashley. Who's she? My daughter. Your dead daughter? You use your dead daughter? What are you doing? Props! I need props. They help me stay in character. Now, please be quiet. I need to concentrate. Just one more thing. These clothes? Yes, they are Ashley's clothes. She doesn't need them anymore. She's dead. Michelle, I'm trying to save your husband's life. In order to do that, I've got to start thinking like a 14-year-old girl. I've got to concentrate, so I very much need for you to be quiet. Of course. Can I do anything? Can I get you a beer? A 14-year-old girl doesn't drink beer. At least Ashley didn't that I knew of. All I need from you is silence. My dad's good. If anybody can save your husband, my daddy can. I'm here, Hamal, but I'm not wearing your favorite outfit. Why not? I'm mad at you. What have you done to the policeman? Nothing so bad. Yet. You shot him with a paintball. <laughs> that was so tight. He thought he was dead. You're laughing? Does he still have the red goo all over him? See for yourself. That's not blood, that's paint. He was hit with a paintball. What? I mean, how? A webcam, like that one. So what we're seeing is exactly like David looked just a few seconds ago. He's still alive. Come on, Michelle, don't crash on me now. David needs you. I need you. Yes. That is so cool. A webcam, right? Can you see him clearly? Yeah, I see it. David tells me you have one, too. On the wall, above the monitor. I want you to turn it on. I don't know how. Is Michelle there? Does she know how? No. No, she's not there, or no, she doesn't know how. Don't get crabby. No, she doesn't know how. I'll ask David. He lives here. What? Hamal. He lives here in this city. How do you know? There's no way he could set all this up in a hotel room. It'd be like David doing the same thing with everything in here. So? So on the internet, it doesn't matter if you live next door or in China. But Hamal lives here in this city, which means that I have a chance to find him. My lady. Hamal, where are you? I'm here, my lady. I was afraid you'd crashed. No. There's just a lot going on right now. His hand! His right hand! What did you do to David? I wish he was more cooperative. Did you hurt him? I hate cigarettes. They're so nasty. He burned David with a cigarette. Now Michelle's upset. Way to go, Hamal. I just burned him once. When I took his gag out to ask him about his webcam, he started cursing. I'm going to check on Michelle back in a sec. 
My lady? My lady, where are you? What are you doing? We know he's still alive. What are we gonna do? Whatever it takes, I promise you. I need a beer. There's something I need to explain to you. You don't need to explain anything. Yes, I do. I don't like the way you look at me. Like that. Ashley was, was 14 when she was raped and murdered, brutally murdered by, uh, by someone she met online. I've been searching the places online that he's likely to hang out. Pedophile news groups, chat rooms. I caught a few child molesters over the years, but never him. Even impersonating your own daughter? I have to impersonate a teenage girl to catch these people. And it has to be real. They know the difference. What other teenage girl do I know better than my own daughter? I imitate her slang, her favorite expressions. There was something about her chat room entries that attracted her killer in the first place. If I could just duplicate that, maybe he'll be attracted again. Ashley's my partner. She helps me. Sometimes it's like she's sitting there beside me. And sometimes it's like she's possessing me. And even if we never catch her killer, we are catching others before they can rape and kill. We are avenging her death. I'm back. Don't take off like that again. I told you, Michelle was upset. I had to calm her down. She'll be a lot more upset if you pull that stunt again. Tell her to check her email. Get Viagra online, low mortgage rates, guaranteed credit cards, penis enlargement. Oh, here it is. I'm all 18. It says, Michelle, I've sent you a short little film. Open the attached file and enjoy. Double click on the attachment. I'm holding that cleaver in my hand right now. Tell her it cuts through fingers as easily as it cuts through carrots. He wants you to go back to the website. Michelle, go back to the website. Tell her to take a good look at her husband's left hand, because by the time she sees it again, it might look different. What does he want me to do? What do you want, Hamal? I want Michelle to be more cooperative and not go running out again. Yes. Okay, we'll stay right here. Good. I hate to get blood all over the place. It's hell to clean up. Now, while you two were hiding, I was busy. I learned from David how to set up his webcam. Tell Michelle to check her email again. I just sent her the instructions. Go ahead. Why are you doing this? Do you want to see what I really look like? No, my lady. I want you to stay away from the camera. I want to keep that image of how I imagine you look in my mind. Then this is for Michelle? Yes. I want to involve Michelle more in our little web conference. Can you handle it? How did you spot me, Hamal? I mean, I wasn't wearing the outfit I was supposed to wear. I can smell a cop. I've gotten very good at dodging them. You asked me once what the 18 stood for. Yeah, what? I've known 18 lovely little girls and boys. We've got to stop him, he's, he's abused 18 children. I thought after tonight, 
I was going to have to change my name to Hamal 19. Are you boasting? Trying to impress me? No. I've been enjoying the company of little ladies and gentlemen for a long time. Over five years now. And I thought I was special. Oh, you are, my lady. More special than you realize. You sure know a lot about computers, Hamal. I've only learned what I need to know. I'm not some hacker, in case you're trying to figure me out. I'm always trying to figure you out. I bet you are. How's the camera coming? Is she there yet? Yeah. Now what? Yes, I got it. Excellent. You're doing well, Michelle. You are lovely. Now step back. I want to see all of you. Let's get a good look at you. I thought you were only interested in young girls. Jealous, my lady? Yes. Yes. So lovely. I thought you were my special friend. But I am. Would you still like some thong panties? You know I would. Ask Michelle if she has any. He wants to know if you have any thong panties. She does. Then tell her to go get a pair. Black, preferably, since that's your favorite color. He wants you to go get a pair of black if you have them. Good. Come all, I don't like this game. I didn't like the game you were playing with the two policemen. That's not very nice. No one was going to get hurt in that game. You would have arrested me. You can't keep doing what you're doing. I know that. Ah, yes. Very good, Michelle. Now walk back to where you were. Turn around. Now, be a good girl and take your pants and panties off and put the thong panties on. He wants me to put them on, doesn't he? Don't you want to see what thong panties look like on Michelle? What they'll look like on you when you're older? Hamal, you are so mean. I don't like you anymore. Shh. Good. <laughs> are you okay? You can do this. You can. Slowly. Tell her to do it slowly. I want a lot of video of this. No! What? What are you doing? Get away from the camera. This has gone far enough. You are tormenting these people for no reason. Stephen, what are you doing? I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to Lady Ashley. Lady Ashley is gone. She better come back right now and fix the camera back. This is my real face, Amal. The game is over. Tell Michelle to count the fingers on David's left hand. No! Listen to me, there's no end to this. God knows what he'll try to make us do next. I don't care! She's doing it, Hamal. Don't do anything to David. Yes, I see. So does her husband. They look very good on her. Don't you think, my lady? You don't want to know what I think. Tell Michelle to turn around and face the camera. What? What does he want now? He wants you to face the camera. But I can't see the fine panties very well. Her shirt is too long. Tell Michelle to lose the shirt. Now what? He wants you to take off your shirt. <laughs> but I'm not wearing a bra. I think he knows that. Smell the salt air, Michelle. Feel the sea breeze on your face. What are you talking about? You've done this before, remember? At Cabo San Lucas, you took your top off, you walked across the beach and into the ocean. How many people were watching that? I don't know. A dozen? Two dozen? Now it's just your husband and some sick animal. And you? Okay, your husband and two sick animals. But feel the tropical sun on your skin, the hot sand under your bare feet. Remember that day, Michelle. This could be just the same. <laughs> Oh, I can feel the chocolate on my tits now. Good, Michelle. Get angry. Fucking right, I'm angry. We're through with this game, Hamal. We're not through with this until I say so. Michelle, count the fingers on David's hand. Michelle, look. No. 
Come on, don't do anything to David. What does he want now? I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. For what? Trying to make me feel better. I always thought yelling was better than crying anyway. Now, Michelle, turn your left side toward him. Now take a good look at Michelle. Tell me if you see a birthmark on her left hip. Do you see it, Stephen? Do you see it? Shaped like a cute little heart on her left hip. Just look at her left hip, Stephen. The birthmark. Kamal, Stephen just got very upset and ran out. Please don't do anything to David. Michelle, it's good to hear from you. How are you holding up? Okay, but please don't hurt my husband any more. I'll do whatever you want. I'm not gonna hurt him any more than I have to. Now, what I want you to do is to get Lady Ashley. I have no desire to talk to Stephen anymore. If you want to help your husband, then you'll make Lady Ashley come back. And one more thing. What? You can get dressed. How you doing tonight, Lieutenant? No, same old, same old. Brace yourself, it's bad. Yeah, they're all bad. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Steven. That's him. What? You don't have a birthmark on your left hip. No, of course not. Ashley did. Maul is a rapist. A murderer. How can you be sure? She was naked. He saw the birthmark. Oh, God. David. I don't give a damn about your husband. That's him all and I want him. Stephen. <laughs> He's here. He's here in the city. He's connected to us. I'm gonna follow that connection. I'm gonna follow it somehow. I'm gonna find him, and I'm gonna beat him to death. He's been taunting me <laughs> for months. When I first found him, I didn't know it. But he knew. He recognized Ashley. Steven, settle down. It's not enough that he raped and murdered my daughter. That's not enough for it. Now he's got to toy with me about it. You have to calm down. That's how he ID us. <laughs> he knows what I look like. Now he's letting me know that he knows. Please, just calm down. You need to be calm to think clearly. I'm the bastard. I'll kill him. You want to get him. I want to save my husband. We need to work together. <laughs> You need to settle down. You need to be able to think. 
He wants Lady Ashley. I don't know. I don't think I can do it anymore. Stephen, you have to. I can't. She doesn't like it. Who doesn't like it? You said earlier there was more. I started out trying to find her killer. And then, when I couldn't, I just wanted to be Ashley. I just wanted to keep her alive. I really was Ashley. Of course you want to keep her alive. You never want to let her memory fade. Oh, it's twisted. It's so twisted. No, it's not. We'll figure out somehow to find her mom. And to save David. Now go back in there as Lady Ashley. <laughs> okay. Is Lady Ashley here? I really like your song, Panties. Mom won't buy me any. You can have these. No, you keep them. I'll get some when I'm older. Come on, Lady Ashley. Let's do it. He put the hood back on. Yo, I'm back. Kamal, are you there? Yes. I'm glad you put the hood back on David. I really don't care about David or Michelle. Yeah, it's just us two, isn't it? Exactly. Do I ever get to meet you? What? Maybe. David scratched something on the cutting board. What? Can't read it. My lady, where are you? You've got photo editing software? I don't know. I'm sure you do. David's got everything on this computer. Where are you, Lady Ashley? Ashley. My lady. My lady. What's going on? Where are you? It's a street address. Tell me. One. Ashley? It's a four. Eight. Wash. Something else. I can't read it. Get a map of the city. He'll know I'm gone. I'll cover for you. Go. I'm back. Good. Yes. This is big fun. David scratched Wash. That's gotta be Washington Avenue. That's gotta be it. Where? A couple of miles from here. I know it. Ashley? Hamal, am I boring you? Of course not. Then why do you not answer me sometimes? Some of the things you say sends chills down my spine. Yeah? Like what? You don't even know you're doing it, do you? 148 Washington Avenue. I can get there in 10 minutes. But how? You've got to stay online. Hamal? Michelle's screaming from the bathroom. Something's happened to her. What? I don't know. This hasn't been easy on her. I've got to go help her. Let's go. Lady Ashley, talk to me. The flashlight and the glove box. Get it. That was a stop sign. At the light maker right. Four years. I've been waiting four years for this. You are going to arrest him, right, Stephen? No. I'm going to beat him to death very slowly. Well, I don't want to beat him to death. That was a red. My clothes were red. My white t-shirt, my blue denim shorts. With my blood, there was blood everywhere. Stephen, you do realize you're crazy, don't you? Maybe we should just dissect him. Dissecting frogs was gross. But it would be big fun to dissect Kamal, especially while he's still alive. Stop it. Are you reading the map? Washington's at the next stop. Stop this time, because I don't know which way we turn. Mike looks more commercial. Taking left. 
Just watch the numbers. Slow down, I can't read them. Thanks for the whiplash. We get David first. Just stay out of my way. You're a police officer, Stephen. Remember that. The minute I lay eyes on them all, I resign. I'll back you up. I'll testify in court you're crazy as a loon. Are you watching? Shit, we passed it. Hang on! If we die, Cabal gets away. Watch for 148. Slow down. We're getting close. Steven, don't throw your life away. I don't have a life. Stop. This could be it. David. Mm. Mm. It's a woman. What? Where is she? I don't know. I had this hood on. Steven, I can't get him loose. Oh, God. It's so good to see you. How'd you guys find me? The address. What? You carved it on the cutting board. No, I, I didn't do that. I, I have no idea where we're at. Put your finger. No, I, it's bloody. It's not blood. I, I don't know. She's, I felt her doing some things with my finger. I don't know. Stephen, what the hell's going on here? No. Stephen, I'll go with you. No. Please. Daddy, I'm scared. Daddy? Daddy, where are you? Daddy, I'm scared. Why are you so afraid? Where are you, Daddy? Daddy, he's hurting me! Where are you? Come here. Do it, Ashley. Daddy, please help me. Come here. Do it. Who 
are you? Hello, Stephen. Stop. Who are you? Oh. Hello, Marion. Why? Because you had to be stopped. <laughs> Honey, you are already dead. We just never let you go. But I have to help Daddy. We have to find him. I don't want to talk to Ashley anymore. I want to talk to Steven. But Mom, don't you want to find him? Yes! Yes, I do! But sometimes it just isn't up to us. Sometimes we have to let God administer justice. People aren't always going to get it right. No. 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 Stephen, what are you doing? I can't just stop. Yes, you can. I did it. But he's still out there. My killer. Ashley's killer. Steven, it is seductive, isn't it? Keeping Ashley alive? I never understood how seductive it was until a few months ago. I never understood before. That's why I had to leave you. You just couldn't let our dead daughter go. I know it was worse for you. You were a cop and you felt you couldn't even protect your own daughter. You blamed yourself. Maybe you were too strict and pushed her away, forced her to do what she did. Maybe you were too lenient and gave her too much freedom. But no matter why, you felt responsible for her death. In my own way, I felt just as responsible for Ashley's death as you. That is why I had to get out. And then, after a little time went by, I really started thinking about us again. <laughs> so, I contacted some of our old police friends. And they told me that you were working for a special task force to trap child molesters. And they said that you were very good at it. My curiosity got the better of me. I began going to the chat rooms I heard you were using to go after pedophiles. God, the night I found Ashley online, my heart nearly stopped. It was her, right down to a T. It was like you had dug her up from her grave and turned her into some hideous, undead creature. It was horrible. I knew then I had to stop you, to finally put Ashley's soul to rest. My God, you were good. Reading your postings, I could hear Ashley's voice in my head. I could hear her saying the things that you were typing, the things that you remembered, things I'd forgotten years ago. The way she used to say yo, the way she used to say she was having big fun, I was stunned. God, God Stephen, please don't do this. Please don't do it. He loves you very, very much. Let him go. It's time to let him go. Hi again. Are you okay? Yeah, since that damn Mickey you gave me one off. I am 
I'm so sorry about that. I'm sorry about your hand, too. I'm sorry about everything. It's just I had to be convincing. And I had to seem ruthless. I need to make a quick pit stop. Well, I'll see you when you get back. It's okay. It's over now. How'd you know about me? I was there at the mall for that first meeting. I just, I wasn't in the coffee shop. I asked around and I found out that you were Steven's new partner. I found out that she had a wife, her name was Michelle, that you were a computer geek. Actually, that's what gave me the idea for the web conference. Yeah, but a man called me. If you ever want to see your husband again, you'll do exactly... Sound familiar? So you didn't abuse 18 children? No. Of course not. It's just that Ashley would have been 18. I mean, that's all that that number meant. Steven. Do you know what a dangerous game you were playing? I was doing good. I know you were doing good. But it got too tempting, didn't it? I never hurt anybody. Not yet you haven't. What are you talking about? He was logging on the internet, talking to teenage girls as Ashley. To warn them, to, to, to show them that it was dangerous, to show them they didn't know who they were talking to. Yeah, but then you stopped warning them. They could just log on, relax, and be Ashley. I would listen in on some of the chats, and I was scared to death by some of the things that I heard. You're scared of what? Scared that he was becoming the monster that he was trying to find. And I knew that I had to stop him. I mean, there was no way anybody in the police department was going to do it. They thought he was a hero. I was the only one that could do it. And I wanted to save him. But to do that, I had to destroy Ashley. I mean, do you see that? I mean, do you understand why I had to do it? Where's his laptop at? Oh, it's at our house. Well, get rid of it. Destroy it. My pleasure. Is he going to be okay? I hope so. I hope so too. I don't think that you should be alone tonight. I think you should stay home with me. The couch? To start. Okay. Why Hamal? Do you remember that Christmas story that Ashley liked so much? Hamal and the Night Visitors. Yeah. Remember how she... She could never say it right when she was little. She'd always put an H in front of it. Hamal and the Night Visitors. <laughs> yep. <laughs>